So guys, thanks to People Can Fly, I actually had hands on time with the new content coming for free to all of us all within our riders, the expeditions, etc, etc. And today guys, I'll give you my honest thoughts and opinion on them and how I feel this will go for the game. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so even before release, I played and streamed the demo daily. Upon release of the game, nothing really changed. Those daily streams were some of the best days I've had on YouTube. And that's obviously because of the support you guys gave me. But we have to obviously mention Outriders 2, as it was the game we was all playing at the time. And let's not lie to ourselves. For the most part, within the early days, we really enjoyed it. The game obviously went downhill with the problems it had etc etc, I don't need to mention them for the hundredth time. PCF worked to fix the major problems the game had and they succeeded in that aspect. But what it did was just delay anything new being added into the game, it delayed any mention of anything new to come. What this did was blow this game in terms of where it was to where it is now, but most people they gave up hope with the game. But it's clear now PCF never did and with all those fixes they were doing they were prepping the game for what's to come next, a thing I myself was starting to believe was never going to happen. It was a mess, a big mess, Anthem level? No. Cyberpunk level? No. No Man's Sky level? Kinda. I say this because they are doing all they can to resurrect this title and well, this content coming I feel is a great, great way to start for PCF in doing that. Now you guys who have watched me know I don't mix my words, I say it how it is and have been pretty harsh on both PCF and Outriders in the past. To a point like I said, I've given up hope on this game and basically just moved on. Now when I was invited to take part in this hands on, obviously I owe it to Outriders to give the game another chance and to be honest I'm glad I did. The game I played, although it was a development build, felt sharp, felt clean, felt smooth, felt kinda new. And I know that sounds crazy right now, and I don't know if it's because I haven't played in ages, but it felt really good. Now with this hands on, I had a preset tricks to build. No, it wasn't my own character or loadout, so I obviously couldn't check and test a lot of things I would have given the chance to use my own character. But what I noticed straight away was, being on level with the expeditions, things felt a challenge, something I'd forgotten Outriders had due to many things just being too powerful. Now I know people will hate the fact that their favourite mods were OP and have been nerfed, but the fact you don't rely on such to push through things actually made it feel much more rewarding at the end. Now the Outriders broadcast will no doubt showcase more than I had access to, and I can obviously only judge on what I played and saw myself. So before we talk about the expeditions, quickly onto a couple of other things. Can I just say that the changes to Tiago as a legendary is a great great one, is a legendary loot that is what he offers being a vendor. This will sit well with the community in my opinion, if you don't know you can now reroll his legendary stock. Now we'll have a video to come looking at this a little deeper so stay tuned for that. Also guys the transmog system is incredible, way better than I thought it was ever going to be, again though I have a video coming on this too. So the expeditions, well what can I say, the four were amazing, although one was too hard for anyone to complete, it was still pretty good. Now if you were a fan of the previous ones, these will tick all the boxes the previous expeditions had and more. Now there are four new like I said, we have the Marshalls Complex, the Molten Depth, the City of Nomads and the Wellspring. Now I will have all four runs on my channel by the way if you do want to check out each and every one, that's entirely up to you. So these expeditions definitely felt new and while I will 100% say I do have a favourite, that one being the Morton Depths. I say this because the final boss of this expedition is an old friend, an actual boss I felt was a little wasted on the story and well never to be seen again. Well that changes with the Morton Depths. But yeah guys these expeditions all feel great, they all feel brand new and there's definitely a challenge here. I don't think people will storm through them like they are used to either and while this is great and I feel a great balance has been brought with the other new addition to Expeditions and Outriders. Will I say an addition? Well actually, Expeditions are now one down because the timer which meant DPS was the most important part of builds has now been removed and I think this is one of the best things with this new content that PCF have done. 
No Time Has Known Expeditions is an amazing, an amazing thing. It changes almost everything. The fact other builds now besides those DPS builds will be viable, I feel the mix of playstyles will drastically change for the better. People will experiment with other things and that's a massive thing I feel Outriders Endgame was indeed missing. I also feel many solo players who could never quite beat the tier 15 expedition timer for gold will also enjoy this feature a lot more. So yeah, I feel this was definitely the right move by PCF, now I've tried it out. I wasn't sure at first, but it's definitely the right move. So final thoughts, what PCF are giving for free is one I feel was something very very much needed, but it's also something I feel needs to be from this point forward a much more consistent thing. Not the free part, just the content part. Now I don't mean new content every week or month, but I feel the point in them doing this, dropping all this free good shiz, they need to ride those highs before letting things fall out of their grasps again. Because I do feel this is a little short of perfect. I've added a little short because as I make this video, I don't have info on everything this free content offers. I don't think, no info on the near future either. The only thing when I was playing this new content I felt was missing as a day one gamer, one who is basically everything the game offers, I feel the one thing that was missing was indeed new loot. But like I said, the Outriders broadcast hasn't happened yet as I make this video. So I don't know what's to come there. I don't know if new loot is being added or not, so we will see. But other than that guys, it's a great addition to this game. It's new stuff for you to experience in Outriders. And I guarantee you when you go back after this content update, if you do go back, you will have a pleasant surprise. But there we have it guys, my thoughts on a new content coming to Outriders. Mainly the four expeditions, uh, Transmog and Tiago's new legendary loot system. Again, I will have videos of all the expeditions, uh, the Transmog and Tiago's loot on my channel, so do check that out. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you're an Outriders Day 1 player, let me know your thoughts on this free content update for the game. Like it, don't like it, let me know why down below. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.